I'm Dr. Oka from Neogenesis Systems and Lifeblood Online. We're going to look at the assembly of your brand new Lifeblood Analysis Microscope. So we'll look at the parts of the microscope as well as how to put them together. All right. Running through the parts of the microscope, starting on the left here, we have the microscope body, then the headpiece of the microscope, as well as two wide field eyepieces, the power supply cable for the microscope, the camera adapter, dark field condenser, dark field immersion oil, and lastly on the right hand side here, the camera for the microscope. So these are the parts of the microscope that you should have after unpacking everything from the packaging. Now we are looking at the HDMI LED uh, model today. The assembly for the entry level system will be essentially the same. The only real difference would be the camera. The uh, very important to mention with the assembly and unpacking of the microscope is just to ensure that no dust gets into any parts or components of the microscope and we'll be looking at that in more detail when we start assembling the system. So let's start with the assembly of the microscope. The first step in the process is really to um, get rid of this polystyrene block under the condenser unit. And to do that, we need to disengage the stage lock, which is this pin over here. We do that by pushing the stage lock backwards away from you, which allows you then to use the coarse focus knobs to move the stage up. We're then able to slide this block out from under the condenser unit. Then we're going to attach the trinocular head onto the microscope body. So firstly, we'll remove the protective plastic from the top of the microscope body. This simply just slips off and it really is just to protect the objective lenses from any dust getting into the system. So we'll remove that. And there's a protective plastic cap at the base of the trinocular head that we also need to remove. All right, and then you'll notice that there are two silver pins then on the left hand side that the head of the trinocular head that it fits into um, that basically hold onto this area here. And then lastly, the trinocular holding screw we need to just loosen. So turn that counterclockwise and then we'll slide the trinocular head into place on top of the microscope body, lowering the left hand side like this and then putting it in place and while you're holding it in place tighten the trinocular head holding screw to secure the trinocular head on the microscope body. So the next step is just to insert the eyepieces into the microscope. And this is quite simple, they really just slide into place. Uh, the main thing is just to be careful to prevent and avoid dust from getting into anything here. That's why they're still sealed in the packaging and there are protective plastic caps on the front of the eyepieces here. So we're going to just pull these protective caps out, open the packaging and slide the eyepiece into place and the same process with the other one. Right, so this plastic we don't really need and we're going to just remove it now to expose the objectives. Okay, then we're going to attach the camera to the microscope. So we will open the box now this is the HDMI camera. The entry level has a slightly different camera. Uh, it's a little easier to assemble, um, but we'll show you the HDMI camera. Very, very simple. This is the actual camera. Let's remove it from the packaging. All right. You'll notice that here, as well as on the top of the microscope, we have protective plastic caps, just again to avoid any dust from getting into the system. So I'm just going to loosen the screw at the back of this cap here, just to allow me to take the cap out easily once the camera is ready. All right, so we have the camera adapter, which will screw into place on the front of the camera. So we'll need to remove the plastic cap 
from here. Screw the adapter in place. And this then fits onto the top of the microscope so we can remove the plastic cap there and place this in position on the top of the microscope. So the best position for the camera is to place it so that the on off switch faces towards the left when it's placed on the camera. So we place it in position on top of the microscope like this and tighten the holding screw at the back to secure it in place on top of the microscope. So at the top of the camera you'll notice a few ports and a button there so we're just going to connect everything there and we do supply um, instructions on how to connect the camera. There are a few options with the HDMI camera. You are able to connect it directly uh, via HDMI cable to a screen without connecting it to a computer uh, but we generally recommend that you do connect it to a computer as well as an HDMI screen. The computer of course allows you to actually take images and save images of what you've seen in the blood. So we have a USB cable that connects to your computer. So we plug it into the USB port at the top of the camera and the other end will plug into the USB port on your computer. And then there's a power cable that plugs into this DC port on the top of the camera here. and then your HDMI cable so the HDMI cable will connect directly from this camera to a separate monitor via the HDMI port here so that's plugged into place all right, and everything is ready. The next step is just then to install the software on your computer with the disk that's provided with the camera. Okay. And finally, we're just going to plug the power supply for the microscope into the back of the microscope. Now, if you are based in North America, your um, cables and plugs will be with the correct adapters. Uh, the system is compatible with North American power supply. Um, and anywhere else in the world we do send the uh, correct adapters so that it works on the power supply that you have. So this really just fits into the back of the microscope there, very simple and plug it into place and there we are.